I'm fresh. I'm fresh. I'm fresh. I'm fresh, yes, on a permanent team You could say I'm fresh to death, I'm eternally clean Used to walk to my own beat of drum and turn all in state But went from enemies to intimacy, I've been redeemed Through the cross and I floss in this paternal regime No more living single, it's like I done turned on regime Hi again everybody, welcome to the Jamie Chadwell Show here at North Greenville University where Christ makes a difference. Well, Coach, we really are in uncharted territory now into the third round of the NCAA Division II National Championships. It's kind of like Moses wandering around in the wilderness after the Exodus. But you know how that story ended up? It ended up in a good place, didn't it? Yeah, it did. And, you know, it took him, I think, 40 years. I'm glad it only took us 30. <laughs> only three so, years. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it is. It's an, obviously uncharted territory. And uh, just um, excited about for the school and excited for the players. It's uh, it's well earned and uh, um, it was a great victory this past weekend to get there. The only thing I can think of is, is people around the country are scratching their heads going, Where, where's this North Greenville thing? What, what is that? <laughs> yeah, I've had a lot of people that think it's in North Carolina and, and all those different things. And so hopefully we'll keep winning. They'll keep not knowing where we're at, and maybe we can uh, take this thing all the way. Well, we hope so. Well, i got to congratulate your team on this the, the previous weekend's win over Mars Hill. 58-32, to 32, four straight week over 50 points. The team is really on a roll right now. We are, you know, things have, things the last uh, few weeks have just we, we've got the balls that have bounced our way. You know, earlier in the year they might have been going the other way, and we had to overcome them. And um, every time there's there's a, a ball's been on the ground, or there's a chance to make a turnover, we've done it. And um, one of those special roads that you're on, you hope you can keep it going. You know, I know I know our, I know our next opponents are going to try their best not to allow that to happen, and they're really good. But uh, it is one of those things you don't. You know, this one as a coach, you don't want to mess with anything. You don't want to shave. You don't want to shave on the same day. You don't want to. Do, you, know, <laughs> you know, you don't try not to mess anything up. If you kiss your wife on Monday morning, but not on Thursday, you know, all those different. Oh, things. I got the same thing going yeah, on. So, Everybody on our staff is yeah, exactly so the same thing. You know, we never would imagine we make it to the third round. Yeah, it's you know I, I think. Um, you know, you, you you put those things on goals and different things, and you, and you work towards those. But I think once it happens, you really hit you. Hey, you're, you know, you're one of eight teams left in the country, and uh, um, and you never want it. You don't want it to end because you never know how if it ever comes back at you. Like well, you know, Moses, forty years, so you never know. So it's 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 a great right, run right now. It'll end, but we hope it ends in about three weeks. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> Well, Chris, let's look back at, uh, at Mars Hill. The writers in the press box were really amazed at the efficiency of the team. Everything was going right for you this past Saturday. It did. You know, in the first half, the first half went by. I, I mean, I, I didn't check my watch, but it seemed like we were out there about an hour. It was it. And uh, we only had four possessions in the first half, and I think they had three. And they scored on all three, and we scored three out of four. Um, and But, you know, in the second half, once, once we got through the first half and got that huge touchdown before the half and, um, and then came out and got some momentum, defense got a huge stop. And, uh, it's everything we needed. We need the third down. We made it. We need to stop on defense. We got it. And uh, we were. Uh, those are games you love as coaches because you were efficient. You came out. You did what you needed to do, and things sort of went your way. You were tied 16 to 16 with about three minutes to go. He got the ball back after Mars Hill scored. Went down, and Willie Corn had that beautiful pass to Sean Wright with five seconds to go. That was the, the, probably the game changer. It was huge because uh, <clears throat> we knew they were getting the ball coming out of halftime, and uh, and we wanted to make sure we put some points on the board and. And we got down there close, uh, and I didn't want to try to sell for a field goal. You want to try to, you know, you want you, there. You, you have no timeouts left, and you're thinking, you know, how many plays do you have? You, you know, all these things go through your head. And fortunately, Sean and Willie hooked up and gave us great momentum to go out and give us that lead, give us a little cushion. That way, that way, uh, you know, if they if Marshall does come out and score, at least you're still tied and you're not down seven. Because I think if we'd have got down, um, you know, our guys in their head might have said, all right, here we go again from the previous one. And I think that's what Marshall was banking on. Uh, thinking, hey, we've done it before. We can come back, and and once that onslaught happened in the third quarter, we put an end to that. Third quarter, within, including the touchdown at the end of the second quarter, and into the third quarter, scored thirty five points in ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, you don't see that on video games. You know? No, I, I th our guys thought it was Madden out there for a while, but it was just, you know, they they get a good drive. They're coming out. Uh, it's a fourth down. Our guys get a stop. We take it right down the field and score. And then uh, it was just like I think I think it was turnovers on three consecutive plays if I'm not mistaken. Three consecutive plays. That's uh, correct. Yeah, and uh, and you know, and then the the great thing, obviously, we get them. We return one for a touchdown, but we were able to put points on the board, not field goals. You ever put touchdowns? And uh, I said, I looked up and I said, is it 51 to 16? It was like four minutes to go. I was like, I mean, I I, I couldn't believe what was going on. It was just uh, one of those things, and um, and uh, that's when you know you, you know you felt like. Yeah, 
you were destined to be there, and you know, and then, so it was good. That's exactly right. Well, with Will Rothschild from the Spartanburg Herald, he's just shaking his head about Willie. Willie has just gotten better and better and better. He has probably got to be one of the best quarterbacks in Division Two right now. Uh, you know, I wouldn't trade him for anybody. I think his level of play over the last um, probably seven or eight weeks has been uh, tremendous. I mean, it's just uh, uh, he's taking care of the ball. He's running. He's executing offense. I mean, just doing a lot of great things and. I mean, he's uh, he's showing why he was you know such a highly ranked uh, quarterback coming out, and uh, we're thankful we have him for sure because he's playing really. Well.